Hello survivors and welcome to the first episode on Let's Play 7 Days to Die. Hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I've been enjoying playing the game and you get a good insight onto what we're doing. Bear in mind this is um, partially developed. Uh, we've we've gone through the first few days and we have struggled, if I'm going to be honest with you. We've, we've struggled to survive because we've had a lack of resources. Um, I've died twice from hypothermia and starvation, but thankfully we've got over that now and we've managed to set ourselves up in a certain area so as you can see here this is just a quick glimpse of what we're going to be looking at and hopefully you'll enjoy it please leave any comments in the comment section anything you want to see anything you want to see develop on the base any suggestions ideas or anything like that leave them below remember if you like what you see subscribe and like the video so we're about to hit night 35 so we're due a horde so this is this is what we're classing as the escape tunnel, which is under construction at the moment. So we've got a fair bit of work on it. So hopefully, with us being here, they're going to try and attack us somewhere where they can't get. So we'll see what happens. <coughs> we'll continue working on the tunnel at the same time. So we're getting ourselves there. Lead vein there. Okay, that's actually one too many that I want to do. I'll build that back up for now. So obviously we're just doing the foundations mainly. Now I have just done a halfway house here. Still got a bit of work left to do on it. Matter of fact, I tell you what I have done that I shouldn't have done is we've covered it whole, all up when I wanted. So, how's that doing for light now? That's much better for light. So, this will be. Oof, bloody hell, we'll be here forever. So this is kind of like a halfway house. This, this is, if we look on the map. There's the base, this is just outside the base here. So this is gonna be kinda like a way of escaping. So let's get digging. Let's see if they go for the house or if they go for me. They are hunted, so hopefully they'll leave the house alone. The house has took a battering lately, so I just want to try and get a bit of a yeah. This is taking forever to break through. Not to self, don't put a concrete block down wrong. Go, we're in. So this is where we'll come up at this section here.
Obviously, we're not going to dig all the way up just yet. So, oh, we're in the wrong room. Try and turn the light on so we can actually see what we're doing. So we're not going to continue with this much, just getting the foundation so I know what I'm doing at a later stage so I don't bloody forget. I'm not hearing any activity from the horde, so I have a feeling we're going to have a problem back at base. Let's have a gander. Anything at all. There we go. Not the prettiest of things, I'm afraid, but it does the job and keeps us safe. Sounds like they're actually stuck in my... Um, I'm currently making a wall around the base. Uh, we've inherited a house for the time being, but... Sounds like they're actually stuck in the... That I've built a trench around the section, uh, well, two thirds of it. And it sounds like they're stuck in that trench. Which is kind of what I was hoping because I'm having troubles with screamers at the moment, so they're constantly bringing a lot of enemies in, which isn't useful. Let's have a look. Another reason why we're doing this is uh, with the resources for concrete. So this gives us a relatively safe area until we build an actual mining shaft. Looking good there. So I'm going to continue work on this tunnel and when you come back, we will have a look at, hopefully, the rest of the base now that the horde will be over. So, join me in a few minutes, and I'll show you around the base. So, welcome back. Just come to daytime now, so the zombies are a bit more innate. Most of them haven't made it to the house. That's, we've got a little looking thing here. There we go. Bashing his head against a vault door. Excellent weather, so we can't see anything. I 
You can just about make out there, there's like a little wooden area there. That's the area that I put down ready for the new wall. Clearing a bit. Oh, another zombie. Trying to conserve ammunition at the moment, so I'm using the crossbow. So there's the job, just a lot more shots. Some tools being made. Okay, so hopefully the weather will clear up. I'll give you a quick tour of the base. So these are the two vault doors that we've had installed on a pre-existing building. Mm -hmm. So this is the location where we're staying, our spawn points, and we've added these to the sides. Obviously it's not quite finished yet, but under there. He's stuck, he's stuck in the uh, in the fence in there. They can get through, it's still not finished at the moment. But uh, oh looks like he's just made it now. They do glitch over it. However, it does slow them down, which is a good start. Oh, no, there he is. Here he comes. Oh, that was a terrible shot. So these aren't too bad, it's the screamers that we've um, had a problem with lately. Fortune Solo didn't make it. Now we did have defences all the way around the house, but we've had a lot of visitors. So unfortunately we've lost most of them. So these are our forges pumping out all the stuff we need. Oh we'll some more iron arrow heads. Oh, we don't need that many. Let's make 150 of them. So we're starting to get somewhere. This is our storage. We've got plenty of storage in this. We're starting to find weapons now, which is nice. We've all got bits and bobs. Um, still missing a couple of bits for a couple of them, but we're starting to get there now. Um, still don't have the schematics for the shotgun, unfortunately, which is annoying me. I'd like to use that. So a similar addition to the house is here. But if I'm honest, we haven't had many visitors this way for us to actually use it so but it's a good escape plan if we need it and then obviously you've seen down there that's the escape route that we're building so this is the house in all we've got a little garden here this is fertilized it does grow but it does give us a small amount of food however Food's a bit of a problem on this map. We've struggled to get supplies with being on the constant attack from screamers and such. So I'm going to leave it for there for a moment. I'm going to continue building the escape tunnel and get some more supplies. Um, we'll catch back up once the weather has turned better and we can have a bit of a scout around when I show you the workings of the house and what we're doing. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, we're faring a bit better on the old weather. So this is my current situation with the perimeter. So obviously, it's not pretty at the moment, but it is just foundations. 
bit of a clear way of getting out. Just so we don't get stabbed to death ourselves. If you ever see these bird nests, always get them. The eggs are great for the food. Um, the feathers are great for your bones. <coughs> so we're going to go and have a look for some more food as we're struggling on food again. Me. And I'll trust the hunting knife and try and find us some deer now. This is the only downside is, is you have no idea where they're going to be. You just got to try and find them. Go this way, there's, there's more flat land down here. So hopefully we'll find something. Not seeing anything at the moment, but hopefully they'll be further afield. We will find something hopefully. We do have a couple of backup plans if we need to, but I'd rather not. Um, we could just use the eggs to boil them and use as temporary food source, but as I say, the eggs and the meat together make a good food source. Oh. That's not far from around this guy. Still not seen any deer. We'll keep following this water line and hopefully we'll spot some spot something. Building up there, but we'll avoid that for now. I've left me melee weapon back at camp, so I'm not best equipped for zombie attacks. I can take them down if I need to, but I'd rather conserve my ammunition. That was a terrible shot. A million and one of them tablets. Do not need any more of them. Not spotting any live wildlife here at the moment. A couple of zombies, that's about it. Not the best thing in the world, but I think we'll eat that. Keep us going for a bit longer. Reaching the edge of the water here. Yeah. So we're grabbing a few things, but obviously with what we're Eating food wise, we're having to compensate with more water. Let's continue looking. Hopefully, we'll find something soon. More zombies, and there's a zombie. Sometimes these have some decent stuff. Now, that was aimed perfectly at the head. Sometimes they have useful, ah, very useful things. Vitamins are always good to increase your. Wellness. I always pop them because I've got enough to get rid of the dysentia, whatever it's called. But wellness is always good. There we go. Increased our wellness. Looks like that's back near our base. 
opportunity to get that at a later stage. Let's continue to try and find some more wildlife. We're starting to encroach on territories we haven't been before, so not quite sure what we'll bump into. Oh yep, yeah, it's desert. It's perfect. I've been hoping to find desert. As it's got yucca plants. And uh, that's what we're currently doing in the uh in the base but if we can gather some in the desert much easier. What have we got here? Oh that's a schoolboy error. Left the pickaxe at the camp as well. This isn't actually desert, it's more arid. We could start overheating in this as well. We can search the car while we're here. Duct tape's always useful. Always search stuff because you never know what's going to have a schematic or something like that. And the schematics are the hardest things to get hold of. Um, duct tape and things like that are just expensive to make. All these things, they, they provide you with... You know, stuff that'll get you going a lot quicker, keep you going as well. Um, I'm not seeing a great deal of any kind of wildlife whatsoever. Just also doing a bit of scouting while we're out this far as well. Keeping an eye on the time. Don't want to be too far out at too late a time, otherwise I'll have to try and find somewhere to camp up and don't know where's the best when you've not set it up yourself. Hello there. Didn't really want to get involved in zombies, but we will do. There's a house up here. I think I'll check this house out. Hey, oh, street light. Could be a possibility this is the yeah. This could well be a built up area. Could be good or bad for us. And there's a bear. I'm actually going to take on the bear. Now birds are notoriously hard to kill. As you'd imagine. I do have a machine gun. In case we need to pop a few rounds. But I'll try and conserve ammunition. We also need the bear for our quest as well. Time to get some distance between us. I do run slightly quicker than the bear, however, I don't want him to test him. There we go. We're now carrying meat, so now every zombie can smell us. I did notice another deer, so I'm going to see if I can try and take the deer as well. Hunting now, if we can combine them. There's been quite a lot around this area, actually. A car up here. So this area, obviously, I've ooh, a crawler. So this area I've never been to before, so this is all new to me. So we are exploring together, as they say. Okay, yeah, this is the main road. We have somebody coming up there. So I have a feeling this town could be quite big. Mushrooms. Mushroom soup. <coughs> now I have fertilised that little area. So, oh, we've got a random adjoining. 
So whatever we plant, we used to get four of. That looks like a shop to me. As I say, I haven't got my sledgehammer with me. However, I do have a decent fire axe. Church for all you religious people. Let's clear some area. Let's see how the fire axe will do. Oh, missed him. So, does kill quite well. I'm almost out of bows. Shotgun. Right, let's get the machine gun out and clear it. There's a bookstore ahead as well. If it doesn't come up with. Bloody lag. Killer with that one shot, yep. Not not ideal. We have to twat the door down with the axe. I'm trying to conserve the ammunition at the same time. Obviously, they can smell me a mile away, which doesn't help. Right, let's get our... Zombies appearing. I don't think I could do with that balaclava. I'm just going to double check. Yep. There's a bookstore there as well that I want to get into. them. Right, let's have a look. Gun store crate. Not really the best time to be coming here really because I am quite full up as it is. However, we need to take the advantage while we can of hopefully finding something. Got plenty of shotgun barrels. Not finding anything. We need that for our What you may call it when we decide to make it mini bike still needing some food useless oh almost broke it I'll take that we'd rather lose what a shite. That's empty. That's empty. 
So we need to try and get into here. Thankfully the old hammer does the trick. Where's the zombie when you want him to break a door in? Say so all these things are useful. All those things are not. I actually got a sniper rifle bow that I know of. It's got a few things that we want to come back for at a later stage. Obviously, these crates will have respawned by that time, hopefully. That the pistol parts, we've got plenty of them. I'll just leave them in the crate for now. Normally, they suggest taking the stuff out so we can respawn, etc. etc. So, I don't think we're going to get back. Need for the schematics. Hunting knife. We can actually make our own now. These are a lot, a lot of books and cases. Nothing major yet, all things that we've already got. Hunting knife, yep. Chainsaw, already got that one. I think I've got that one. Yeah, I did. Got a lot of the same one. We need to get the hell out of here. Really? Let's get time to get the hell out of here. We will need to come back here. Let's 
this is a pretty big area. We have a lot to, uh, we have a hell of a lot to look at. We may need to put a secondary base in this area here and uh, have a look around. So fingers crossed we make it back. Either way, I will join you once nightfall hits and we'll see how we're doing. I'm not going to actually go too much into night stuff because realistically with the interaction we're having with the zombies um because we've got so much set up here we're getting screamers and all sorts probably a bit of a mistake looking at hindsight but we're just really spending most of the night just basically getting ourselves all organized um we've still got a temporary operation in the base obviously it needs ripping down and rebuilding and whatnot and hopefully through the uh, series you'll you'll get a chance to have a look at that and you know we'll be able to see you know some improvement on the base hopefully um so really night time's just about getting yourself set you can't really do too much unless you're fully geared and even so you still get overwhelmed by zombies it's it's not worth dealing with night time at this present moment hopefully when the base is set up we can use it to our advantage to get plenty of loot and stuff like that so Let's have a fast track to the next day and see how we're progressing with construction, see how things are there, and hopefully get a good glimpse of, of, of how the, the, the wall's looking and where it, where it's going to be leading to. So let's let's fast track to that now. So we're at the correct height now for where we want. So we'll just start laying the foundation again. Obviously, this is the ground level where we're putting now. When we come to building courtyards and whatnot, So this is the wall, so nowhere near as high as it will be yet, as it will match the height of about three or four higher than that there, so it will probably be about up there, and it will work its way all the way around. This level will then go down, and the house will be dismantled, and new construction will be placed in there. Obviously that's a fair way off yet. Gonna quickly do a bit more digging in here. So bear in mind the time, and we may get wandering zombies now. But just want to try and get as much of this done as possible now. So realistically, this is the only defence we're gonna have towards the hordes come over today, as they're starting to. Find it a lot easier taking down our doors and defences now. Now that enforcers are around as well, you want to keep them away from your base because occasionally they decide to explode. And they do cause a lot of damage. Once we have the outer wall, we can start thinking about traps and um, explosives and whatnot. You can get some landmines, put them down. Uh, have a dedicated map system where we place them with without blocking ourselves getting in and out so let's continue to take some of this down yep before i heard them
Getting to night time now anyway, so we'll want to be stopping there. But plenty of them hordes turn up. I don't know, of course, hassle for you while you're trying to. Most of the base defences we had around the house have now been dis destroyed because they um, decided. Which I've got plenty now. Uh, sorry, just getting some more cement. Oh, we need some more concrete mix first. Once night time comes, they're gonna go batshit crazy. So. There's plenty more stone. That's the deposit that we have for now. We're starting to get some more. Actually, we will. Craft some more. Gunpowder. we're running low on nine millimeters so we will oh that's actually a different treasure map another treasure to hunt down at some stage boots are better but we can combine the two so let's just do that quickly. Okay, so we didn't get a level up, but the nails are fully repaired. We haven't turned that on. Oh, we haven't put any stone in it, did we? We need no more stone, so we definitely need to start getting the stone up and running. Plenty of cement now. However, we need stone for everything, so uh, because we haven't got much sand in this area, then uh, we're using the stone to get crushed sand as well. So, stone at the moment is something we need a lot more of. Some really long water. Let's top up on our water supply. Two glass jars, 300 glass jars, that's what we like. <laughs> 25 steel arrowheads. Yeah, I think we should make some more of them. I think we can make some more of them, so we'll double check. We can make our own hunting knife, but steel crossbow bolt. Oh, feathers, we need 25 feathers. Steel crossbow bolt. There we go. So we'll get them made while we're at it. Oh, we want them. As I say, I try to use the crossbow if I can. They're not ready yet. So our food source. Plenty of food now, and top up on the water. So we're back in our safe zone. We have care package here, 
and I know there's one over here somewhere that's dropped. When you log off, it tends to wipe out the locations of the care packages until you bump into them again. Plenty more concrete mix in the make. So that's it for episode one. Just a bit of a look around. Episode two will show some more construction on the wall. I'll do that offline, bring it to you. Um, I'll also take you to our first location that we went to when we first started. Uh, the first five days we had were a nightmare, no water supply, no food supply. I died twice just trying to find anything until we found this area here. And then obviously we moved everything over to here at about day 15, I think it was. Um, the mine will have been done a bit more and hopefully we'll start seeing things like these lights here being made ready for the new construction, the new construction starting. Uh, I don't know if I can turn that light on actually. Let's have a look. Well, you're useless. What are you even on there for? Be gone. Undetected. So there's a lot to come, which I'll take you through in episode two. So thank you for joining us for episode one. Hopefully you've got a good look at the to come kind of thing. See our walls, how they're coming along. Now this kind of construction here will be employed on the new the new building. But rather than it being quite a bit of a mock up here, it'll be all the way around the first level. Uh, sorry, second level, obviously. Well, depends how you look at it. Ground four, level one, level one. Obviously, on level one, you'll see more of this so that we can defend as of where we need to. The wall will be up anyway. The Great Wall of the Rugged World will be up. And the defences should hopefully start to look a bit more of a defence rather than a bit of wood blocking them and, and a trench. Um, we've got a lot more construction to come along. We've got a lot more wood that we needed. We've got a wood farm going now. Um, we can see that from this side here. So I need, there we go. Uh, we will be planting some more seeds. Right, so we have some traps down here to keep it safe. We'll be planting some more seeds down. That's open. Around this area here. So we've not got far to travel. That area there is probably going to be the last to go up on the wall. I know I've just dug that trench out a bit more there, but I want to concentrate on this side here, and I want to concentrate on the far end there. The far end there is where most of the zombies do turn up, so once we have that wall up, we get the defences on there, we should hopefully have less hassle. So until then, thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you in episode 2.